What's up, everybody, man? This is Fred, man. Listen, I want to put some perspective on the Last Dance documentary, episode one and episode two with the Bulls the, going into the sixth championship season. I watched every major media outlet today so far, and they all talked about Jerry Cross, what of a bad job he, you know, has done towards the end of that breakup for, for the Bulls. And I'm not going to the defense of uh, Jerry Krause because you, you're bad and you're bad.com. But it's easy to be critical 23 years later. Everybody could be critical of Jerry Krause 23, 24 years later. You had Michael Jordan. You had Scottie Pippen. Why are you breaking all that up? Let me get y'all the guy is true. Every GM in sports was operating very similar to Jerry Krause. It just went unnoticed because they didn't have dynasties. Jerry Jones treated Jimmy Johnson the same way that, Jer that Jerry Krause was treating the Michael Jordan. Jerry Jones started with Jerry Jones. This is facts. He didn't believe it was Jimmy Johnson. He even hired Bad Swiss and then won another championship. Every GM was operating in a similar fashion. Every GM believed that the organization was the reason why teams were winning. This is facts. So I know we all beating down Jerry Cross today about how he handled the Bulls going into the, after winning the fifth championship, going to the sixth year. How Scottie Pippen was way underpaid. Scottie Pippen signed a contract that he was avowed not to sign. Not to, say, not to justify it by any means. I'm not justifying it. Again, Jerry Cross, you bad and you bad.com. But we got to start believing that every GM was operating different from what Jerry Cross was doing. None. None of them. It just went unnoticed. You think the Supersonics didn't get rid of Gary Payton when it was time, or the Philadelphia 76ers didn't get rid of Charles Barkley, or even the Suns got rid of Charles Barkley. Every GM was operating this way. It wasn't different for the Bulls. Jerry Krause thought he was doing what's best for the Bulls and the Bulls organization. We all can be critical 23, 24 seasons later, 24 years later. We all can be. At the time, because Jerry Krause broke up the biggest dynasty in sports history. He broke it up. Phil Jackson, the Michael Jordan, the Scottie Pippins, he broke it all up. There wasn't a bigger dynasty in the history of sports. I'm sorry to tell you, as, as a diehard Kobe Bryant fan, that th there was no bigger dynasty than that Lakers, than that Chicago Bulls, the second three-peat. None. See, to, in today's generation, the difference in sports have evolved. So everyone who's having an opinion about this is speaking for how sports is operated today, which has evolved. Players of any sport can communicate with fans directly. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you name it, Snapchat, any platform. Will. Social media didn't exist in 1997. It didn't. For crying out cell phones were just becoming on the scene. People were using pagers. So we got to start thinking about this in the time of 1997, not in the time of 2020. Every other GM would have did a, probably exactly what Jerry Cross was doing. Now, I probably wouldn't have hired Tim Floyd. But every GM would have probably thought the same thing. Keep the team together. Keep a high payroll and blah, blah. No. They would have, have broke the band up and tried to get younger. Which is what the Bulls did. It just didn't pan out that way. It just didn't work that way. They've been bad since Jordan. It's still bad. Still bad.com. But... That's every GM was operating that way. I just gave y'all the metaphor with the Dallas Cowboys. That happened. That was a real thing. And that's a different sport. Every dynasty was getting broken up. They were older players now. You think they didn't break up the Celtics? Stop it. They broke them up. Now, I understand George's position was as long as we're winning titles, just keep us together. Anybody can understand that. Like, again, people, he's getting the blame because Jerry Cross broke up the best dynasty in fans' sports history. He broke it up. Told Phil Jackson, this is going to be last season coaching this team. After coming off a championship. But most GMs, would. this is, this is how sports was operating. 
teams that were winning championships in any other sports, GMs were breaking those teams up trying to get younger, have a, have a younger payroll. They believed their organization was the reason why these teams were successful. This is what they believed. Some still operate that, but again, the difference in today's time is that sports have evolved for its communication with player fan. Michael Jordan is the biggest sports figure in, in, in history of sports. Doesn't matter what sport it is. And there was no YouTube, there was no Twitter, no Instagram. This guy was huge. And that's how they operated. That the organization was bigger than any player. There was no partnership between the two. Now in today's generation of sports, you can't just get rid of a LeBron James. You can't do you can't just get rid of Stephen Curry. You can't do that. It's kind of a partnership relationship. You know? You're not gonna just get rid of I don't want to use the metaphor of James Harden, but you're just not gonna get rid of it. The Saints just can't get rid of Drew Brees. That's just not how sports work. It's a different partnership now, you know? So everybody who's critical, who has an opinion about how Jerry Krause operated the Bulls in 1997, I'm here to tell you right now, and this is, this is, this is my belief. This, I'm not stating this is a fact, but this is just my belief. Every other GM at the time in sports would have made almost a similar decision in basketball to Jerry Krause. They'd have made a similar decision. Not giving Jerry Cross no passes again. You're bad. You're bad. Dot com. It's Jordan crying out loud. Let's stop being ignorant. The biggest figure in the world. <laughs> Keep this band together. <laughs> Whatever the man says. But that's easier said than done. Easier said than done. That's my video, guys. Man, like the page. Subscribe to the page, man. Leave your comments down at the bottom, and I appreciate it.